Hello everyone and welcome to the astrological forecast for Aries, month of April 2019. Aries, we are in Aries season. It is your month right now. Most Aries are within April. For you, Aries, this has been a very interesting year for you so far. A lot of changes, a lot of progress, a lot of self and inner work. The journey of self has been highlighted very heavily for yourselves lately, especially our single Aries right now. So Aries, this is going to be a reading for you. I'm going to be doing a multiple card spread here out of six cards. We'll see what spirit has to offer. Ten chalices. Cool, cool. Wheel of Fortune. Destiny. Cool, awesome. Transportation, the chariot. Eight of Pentacles. Wow, that's that's a good card. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. And show us the final card for Aries. Nine of Chalices is just sticking up there. All right. So, um, Aries. Wow. You've been you've been hopping from one boat to another boat. They've all seen a bunch of light boats, but the ship has gone down a long time ago. You left that behind in 2018, Aries. And what I mean for a lot of you, Aries, went through breakups over the holidays of 2018 towards the end of the year. A lot of you guys had different things that were going on. Here we are in the month of March. And um, this is about a revelation of progress, family breakthroughs. I feel a lot of you this month in April, Aries, have the Ten of Cups here. This is a, just a feeling of where you feel like in your family right now, where you feel with your family right now. You feel like you've made peace with your family. You feel like you've made um, agreements or you've come to terms finally. You finally let go of the past here. So there's like an inner relief. Something is finished here. And it's not just something being finished. It's a cycle, something that was meant to be. You are where you're at right now, Aries, because you were called to be there. You're called to be where you're at right now. You have here the card of the wheel representing karma. And I feel that you may have done a lot of karmic clearing. And it's being reflected really strongly right now, Aries. Maybe we just went through tax season. A lot of you may have had to have paid into your taxes this year. Or you might have been reluctant and you've been kind of uh, holding back from your responsibilities, Aries. Um, so I'm just seeing that, you know... You kind of got your responsibilities nipped in the bud so far, and you're moving fast, furious, and forward. That energy being with inside you has come back. That fire, that zeal, that Mars energy, and an essence of what you truly are is returned. Take that word in the heart with the goddess of Mars behind me, Miss Isis. Yes, she's highlighting your energy right now. She's with you, Aries. I get here the card of the chariot coming up next. What does this mean for Aries? Well, for those of you who work for a company... Your energy, your gusto, and your um, overall appearance and how you've been taking care of chores around you is shining and brightly in the eyes of the boss. Many of you will see a raise this month. Many of you will see a promotion this month. Many of you will see an offer this month from, for those who are owning businesses of their own. Eight of Pentacles. Look at this, Aries. All that hard work and effort that you're showing yourself with the extra energy that you have this month. You woke up today, April 2nd, feeling more happier than usual. You kind of vibed with Capricorn. Capricorn was kind of feeling the same thing. When I get to Capricorn, when I do their reading, it's going to be something similar to what Aries is going through. So I'm just saying you've been very work-minded. You've been very business-minded. You've been very, you've had that Orion energy about you lately. You've got that yellow ray shining at you. And you've been, you've been really grounding the divine masculine. Aries, you are a masculine sign. Um, there is Aries feminine, though, as well, who have different planetary alignments in their charts. It's all where your planets align. And especially if you're in Aries with a lot of water sign in your chart, then you would be more feminine oriented. But if you're in Aries with a lot of earth or a lot of fire, you're more masculine. Much like myself, I have a lot of, I have a lot of earth and I have a lot of fire in my chart. So I got a lot of that going on. And I'm seeing with the Eight of Pentacles here, 
just being a card of good work. You're doing well. This is your progress report, Aries. You're making progress. You've grown. You may have felt stagnant in 2018 and at the beginning of the year and wondering and worrying about yourself. That worry and that ambition that you had was your burning fuel that you've been using up to this point and you've been holding on to very strongly, very, very, very strongly. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Look at this. Another financial abundance card. You have a lot of energy about you. What does this mean with the Ten here? The Ten of Pentacles. This is financial abundance. This is the card of, I feel complete financially. I'm where I'm at, where I need to be financially. Well, Aries. Um, progress. This is about progress with the Eight and then matching that Ten vibe. It's something very, very prompt for you. So Aries, you become independent with this energy here. This is a reflection of independency. I feel that if any of you guys are playing casino or playing the lottery or playing just in general, you have better chances right now. That doesn't mean blow your money away, but take a fraction. Have a little fun with yourself with the little extra money that you have right now, Aries. Use it wisely and spend it wisely, but do it in, in a way that's going to save you money in the long run. So maybe only bring $120 if you're going to the casino and see what luck you have. Because you have a lot, you have that energy right now. You have that, you have that very strong energy of manifestation right now. I recommend doing binatural meditations involving manifestation, doing um, meditations, abundance man manifestation meditations will help you out greatly right now, Aries. But the last card... Coming towards the end of the month, you may be left of a choice, though. With the abundance that you have for those who are single and who are ready to move on, you've come and gained a lot of public eye. You've been either Mr. or Mrs. Popular in the game of Bachelor lately. And this is the fulcrum here with the nine. This woman in the middle <coughs> choosing between two different people around her, two different men, and they're kind of small. Okay, the reason why they're small, they're not boys, they are boys in a way of an essence of the youth of them, their soul, their mind. She's looking for real men. For many of my Aries women out there, you feel that you want a real man. You feel that you want a real, you're going to be left with a choice at the end of this month for those who are single. Who's actually a man and who's actually a boy? Whichever man is intimidated by you is showing their maturity, being of less value. Whichever one can match that vibration that you hold, Aries, is meant for you. For those of you who are in relationships with this card here, you may be left of a choice and decision with the responsibilities placed upon you from the progress that you've made. Well, your partner sees how well we're doing. Your partner sees this is a very odd time for you to be doing well, Aries. The reason why is because... Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus, which represents the collective consciously. Kind of struggling and being more frugal, being more conservative. But it's also a time of taking care of the planet. Also a time of realizing the value and the prospect of the Earth that we live on. And it's also a time where we realize and gain that sense of community and peace. Mars has also moved into Gemini, which is represent diplomacy. You have a very diplomatic nature. And there is a diplomatic energy about this final card as well. Making a choice is a diplomatic action. Making a choice between where you're going if you're buying this house, now is the time to do it. If you're buying this car, now is the time to do it for yourselves because the market's a little bit shaken up right now financially on different aspects. And if you're looking as in terms of choice to make for you and your family, I feel that you'll make the right decision, Aries, because you've worked hard for this moment. You worked hard for this place where you are making yourself on the precipice of your reality. This is the fulcrum of your reality that you're reaching right now, Aries. I'm seeing for you, Aries, that with the choices that will be in front of you, it varies for many people. This message is not meant to resonate with just one person. This is meant to resonate with the collective as a whole, who are Aries. It can be Aries sun sign or Aries moon. I'm a Libra moon, but I have a lot of different earth elements in my chart. And I have a air moon, air sign moon. So, Aries, this is a month of progress for you. This is a month of realizing and taking back what you've earned. This is a month of realization and a month of being, just being. Aries, that is my reading for you. I hope that was helpful. 
Sometimes when we are left with big responsibilities at the end of the day, with the abundance in our own hands, we are in need of taking time to think and reflect. Don't rush things, because Aries, you're very compulsive at times, but you've grown, and you've come a long way. For those who are watching this, this should resonate with you at heart. Namaste and blessings, and until next time, pleasure of mine to assist you, Aries.